Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 6 scores franchise's biggest ever launch weekend, which blows my mind. I'm wondering if this really is a good game or if people were just like excited about the premise of it. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, it's it could be either or. I I have heard people say this is a really good COD. So I always preferred Black Ops games as opposed to like the Warfare games or whatever. Uh, but anyway, Black Ops Six is set or has set new opening day and weekend launch records for the uh, twenty plus year old franchise with its October twenty fifth release, according to Microsoft Gaming. Uh, per data released by the Xbox owner Wednesday, uh, Black Ops 6 was the biggest Call of Duty three-day opening weekend ever in terms of total players, hours played, and total matches. However, Microsoft did not disclose specific numbers for any of those Black Ops 6 metrics or comparable figures for previous Call of Duty games. So, uh, reading between the lines, take it with a grain of salt. From Activision's Treyarch and uh, Raven Studios, Black Ops 6 is available across Xbox, PlayStation, and PC and marks the first mainline Call of Duty game to be released since Microsoft closed its uh, $76 billion purchase of Activision Blizzard, the largest video game acquisition ever made in October 2023. If I remember correctly, uh, when Greg was alive, that was one that we were talking about. <coughs> Where we were like, dude, are they ever going to make this work? Or is it is it ever going to go through? Is everybody and their mother kept trying to block the the purchase? Uh, that was the one like PlayStation and Nintendo and or, or, well, Nintendo didn't cry about it too much. They were like, whatever, we don't care. Uh, PlayStation was crying hard about it and kept taking them to court internationally. But anyway. Uh, Black Ops 6 was available to Xbox Game Pass customers at launch as part of Microsoft's push for its subscription service and its overall revenue strategy. The game was heavily marketed by Activision across social media, TV, and live experiences ahead of its debut. I mean, isn't it always? Last week's launch of Black Ops 6 was the biggest Call of Duty release ever, setting a record for day one players, as well as Game Pass subscribers ads on launch day. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella said during the company's quarterly earnings call Wednesday, quote, unit sales on PlayStation and Steam were also up over 60% year over year. So very successful. A win is a win, man. Even if what I said about, uh, even if, even if what I said about the game were true, and I'm not saying it is, it's my opinion and I'm entitled to it that the call of duty is the same every year. It's just, you know, you slap a, a new coat of paint on the same game, slightly better graphics, maybe one or two new features, a new gameplay, whatever. And it's, you know, COD is COD, you know, whatever. Uh, even if that were true, this is still a big win. Uh, and, and I'm, I, I got to call it out is, uh, you know, congratulations for uh, for them. I mean, they they did good. So uh, Call of Duty gets a gets a win. And, uh, you know, I can I can whatever I, I'll never bag on it. It's got a great business model because they've managed to build up enough love from their own community where even if I am correct that it's the same game, I'm not saying it is. Like I said, it's my opinion. Enough people love it where they will complain about it. The quartering talks about this too. He's like, you'll cry and complain and yell about it. And then you'll buy it again next year and you'll still play it. And this one apparently was bigger than all of them. They did really well. So congrats to them. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 6. It does actually look pretty good. Um, it's going back to the Gulf War, which I feel like a lot of games did there for a while. And then they kind of got away from it and, now they're back. We're back, baby. We are back to, to Gulf War. Uh, 